So welcome back from the short break. Uh, we have just looked at what we call chemistry as a subject. It's a branch of science that deals with the study of matter and the changes they undergo under different conditions. So we saw what matter is, and then we saw the changes that matter undergoes, that is physical and chemical changes, and the conditions which are required for such changes to take place, the physical and the chemical changes. Now, since we are dealing with ordinary level chemistry, let us look at the summative assessment. That is, at the end of the cycle, at the end of senior four, which papers are you going to encounter? And if you are encountering those papers, what kind of papers are they? How many are they? What is the time duration for each paper? And the marks, then how to calculate and get your scores. So that's what we call the examination format. The examination format. So chemistry at ordinary level, first of all, the code of chemistry is five four five. That is the code of chemistry at ordinary level. Five four five. Don't put P because if you put P, then that one is for A level. It's supposed to be five four five just. Now you will experience, oh, you are going to sit for three papers. That is paper one coded as five four five stroke one. Then we have paper two, that is five four five stroke two, and then paper three, which is the five four five stroke three. These are the three papers we shall sit for. Now let us start with paper one. Paper one chemistry is called a theory paper, meaning that there is no any experiment, there is no any practical that you are going to perform. You will only be given the questions and then you answer from your brain. So it's a theory paper. And this theory paper, it is having what we call objective type questions. Objective type questions. These objective type questions, or sometimes we refer to them as being multiple choice questions. Multiple choice questions. They will give you a question with four related answers, answers which are so close to one another. So those answers are given as A, B, C, O, D. A candidate is supposed to choose one answer out of the four which he or she sees that is the most correct answer or alternative. So in this case, the answer you are going to pick you are going to put it in a box which is already drawn for you at the right hand side of each question. So if the answer is A, you will put your A inside the box in capital letter. Don't let it go outside the box, just inside the box. You put it so, you will be given a total of 50 questions and you will answer all of them compulsorily just put A, B, C, or D in the box provided. And the time frame here is the time you are going to use is one hour and then 30 minutes. One hour and 30 minutes. Now, each question is entitled to one mark. So for the 50 questions, the total marks is is 50 marks. You will not be given any rough paper, any paper for rough work, you will not be given. Everything should be done from here. You are supposed to reason from your brain, even if it is a calculation, should be done from here and your calculator, and then you get the answer. So it tests how sharp a candidate is. So that is paper one. Let us also look at paper two, that is 545 stroke two.
So paper two. Five four five stroke two. This one is also a theory paper. Now this paper consists of two sections. That is section A and also there is section B. So let us first look at section A. Section A consists of ten questions and these questions are called structured questions. These structured questions are questions with many parts. You can have, say, part A, we have part B. Part B can have, say, Roman 1, Roman 2. You can have part C, Roman 1, Roman 2. And possibly, you can also have part D. It has got very many parts. Now, a candidate is expected to write the answers to these questions in the spaces provided. Answers to be written in the spaces provided. So do not write your answer elsewhere. It should be in the spaces provided. Now, each question carries five marks, meaning that the total marks for the ten questions is 50 marks, and the time allocated for this paper is one hour and then 30 minutes. Remember, all these questions are compulsory. So, you are supposed to, in this case, answer all, you will first leave us here, you are supposed to answer all these questions here, and you answer all these questions which are structured and above all they are compulsory for a candidate. You are supposed to answer all of them. So in section A you will earn your 50 marks if you have got everything with each of these questions here carrying a total of 5 marks. So the total for the 10 questions is 50 marks. That is for section A of paper 2. Let us also look at Section B. Section B is also part of paper two, and they are, it, they are also what we call theory questions. But the section B consists of four essay type questions. These essay type questions, you will write their answers not in the spaces provided, but you will be given what we call an answer booklet, a separate answer booklet which will write the answers and then it will be attached to the question, I mean say to the paper bearing section A. So you will have to choose out of these four essay type questions, you are supposed to choose two questions and you answer them. Remember one thing that these questions here, the four of them, of which we'll choose two, a candidate is supposed to read each question well and see where he or she can have best good marks. Look at the questions which are simpler, with simple parts from which you can good, get good marks or have best, I call it a best thing. You can have best good marks and you choose those two questions and answer them. So. In this case, each question, each question carries 15 marks, and that is a total, for the two questions you will get a total of 30 marks. 
Now, the time duration for this paper here is two hours. You will sit for two hours for this paper here. That is paper two, it is a theory paper. Now, let us look at the last paper. That is the paper three. And that is five four five stroke three. So five four five stroke three. This one is interestingly, it is what we call um, a practical paper. So in this practical paper, you will be given two questions. There is no section A and section B. You will just be given two practical questions and a candidate is supposed to answer them, both of them. And in fact, those two questions are compulsory. You will choose the, I mean say, you will answer both questions compulsorily. So in this practical paper, you are supposed to perform an experiment, then you write, you record your findings in the spaces provided. So, you'll find when there is question one and question two. So, these two questions carries equal marks. Question one carries a total of 25 marks. Then question two also carries a total of 25 marks. So, you find that if you answer very well, you'll get a total of 